friends. Today, let's talk about stories. We are all storytellers. When we want people to understand us, we share our personal story, or at least parts of it, with them. When we want to seek to know about other people, we ask them to share their story with us. Who doesn't love a good story? Every night before going to bed, my daughters insist on listening to a story. Why? Because stories spark connections. In fact, at the State of the Union address, President of the United States shifts away from factual policy talk to talk about an invited guest. Because stories are more compelling than facts. Well, it turns out that stories not only affect how we perceive the world, but they also impact our self-analysis. Let me explain that better. Listen to this story. Greg, as a child when he was five years old, was thrown into the swimming pool by his dad to learn swimming. Now, Greg as an adult may tell this story as an experience that made him into a hardy entrepreneur and now he learns by taking risks. Or he may translate that experience into why he hates cruise ships and does not trust. My story is not an exhaustive list of all that has occurred. Rather, we choose certain experiences, good and bad, because those experiences shape us. However, our interpretations of those experiences differ, as illustrated in the example above. Professor McAdams out of Northwestern University studied how people derive meaning of their experiences through storytelling. He developed the psychological concept of narrative identity. What it means is that individuals derive their own uniqueness based on how they form or tell their life narrative. There is extensive body of literature that shows that how we tell our personal stories affect our self-worth and how fulfilled we would be in our lives. There are two main categories of story. Number one, redemptive stories, where the main character, that is you, go from a negative state to a positive state. For example, Greg thrown in the swimming pool now turns out to be an entrepreneur through recovery, learning and risk taking. Number two, contamination story. It is the opposite. Greg thrown in the swimming pool now has become afraid of water and does not trust authority figures through betrayal and victimization. Research shows that when one frames their life events as a contamination story, he or she is less likely to feel content, contribute to the society, feel fulfilled, or be happy. Take away. Change the way you tell your story. Well, we may feel trapped in a certain way as it pertains to our life narrative. But fortunately, that is not true. There is enough evidence suggesting that we can modify our personal stories and therefore make a significant impact in how we live our lives. Rethinking and altering our personal own life narratives can not only create meaning and more fulfillment in our lives, but it also results in an increase in meaningful behavior. The moral of the story being that a simple mindset stands between you and your fulfillment. Just rethinking about the perception of your experiences or the framework you use to comprehend your life story can have a big impact on your meaning, fulfillment and happiness. So going forward, what stories are you going to be telling? Thank you so much for listening. Stay safe, stay happy, Keep smiling.